What's up guys, this is Chris from VFXon and in this tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to create a cool looking intro using sweep nerves and uh, how to create different sort of things with sweep nerves. So let's jump into that. Okay, so here I have my Cinema 4D open. So I'm going to start with creating a text, more text. I'm going to type tutorial. Okay, and I'm also going to change the font to what I want to use. Let's see. Um, I'm going to try this and I'm going to increase the depth of it and also go to caps, fill it cap, fill it cap, steps to let's go four and radius to three again four three and eh, that looks good okay and uh, now let's start with uh, first off we need to go and add formula okay next what we do is I'm gonna move the formula there somewhere and I'm gonna move it up like so and then I'm going to make sure that the formula is parent or child of our text. And now our text is, it kind of looks like a liquid. Yeah, it actually do, which is cool. Okay, and uh, what we want to do now is we want to stretch this out. Like just, I'm going to go with something like that. But you can change your settings how you like. For example, if you want the text to be more... Uh, like you know like more like liquid looking and stretched out and stuff like that you can do that it's up to you and also I don't like how the text is sort of twisted so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna also adjust this so that it's not so twisted okay, something like that Look, to me it looks good but still it's a bit more I need to decrease this more so okay, something like that. That looks good to me. Okay, but you know you can change your own settings however you like. Okay, and to do the actual animation because currently the text you can you can see it's wavy and it looks really cool, you know. But if you want your text to be wavy like this at start and then just to stay still as it should, then what you do is you go here to size and I'm gonna set a keyframe like that out of no uh, out of keyframes keyframe there and let's say I want my text to stop like I don't know I'm gonna say here 60 60 60 blah. so here and what I do is I'm gonna stretch this out okay I'm gonna do like I don't know like let's go with eight thousands okay and then I'm gonna also change this value to uh, like that okay and now if we check it out you can see that it starts out really wavy like it's going crazy and it sort of stops this looks pretty cool okay and next what I did I created a helix and uh, here in the settings we can change the radius we can change the um, angle I'm gonna like increase it something like that and uh, I'm gonna increase the height of it Then I'm gonna press R on my keyboard to rotate it uh, something like 90 degrees move it about like that and I, I think that I need to increase uh, the end or uh, the starting radius something like that okay and next what I do is um, I went to uh, and created sweep nerves and then I picked circle and in circle I changed the radius I'm gonna uncheck that uh, the radius I set I think to 3 okay or a bit bigger let's set it to uh, 10 
all right? And now I'm gonna bring in a circle into sweep nerves as a child and also helix, but make sure that the helix is underneath the circle. And you can already see that it looks like a spring. Okay, and now what we do is here we can control, oops, wrong one. Uh, here we can control the growth of it. As you can see, it starts to grow. And uh, pretty much, I'm just gonna find the point where my text st stops to wave. Somewhere about here. Okay, maybe like here. And I'm going to set a keyframe for end grow, end growth. Okay, set a keyframe. And I'm going to move on to like, I don't know, like let's say here. And I'm going to increase that to 100. Okay. And I'm going to move to like here. And I'm going to set the start growth to also 100. So what happens here is, I'm gonna now uncheck that. What happens is you can see that this like sort of thing goes around my text and then it just ends like that. And you can pretty much play around and use different types of, uh, um, like you can use, I don't know, like you can use rectangle instead, for example, uh, 10, and 10 and I'm gonna use rectangle in, instead and you can see that it is using rectangle instead so you can do a lot of cool things with this um, let's try something else for example um, our text uh, let's try f so let's try something else let's create um, rectangle and let's set roundings okay and I'm gonna move it to about there and center it out and I'm gonna adjust the height something like that okay and I'm gonna adjust it with something like that okay and now what I'm gonna do is actually I'm gonna move it a bit forward to here and so uh, again sweep nerves um, I'm gonna use rectangle and I'm gonna set it to five and five and pretty much the same thing. Drop that in, drop that in. And uh, now again, let's animate it. Okay, and about like here, I'm gonna set the keyframe for uh, end growth. And I'm gonna move to, I don't know, like here. And I'm gonna make it like that. And now we have a sweet animation. Okay, what happens here? Why, oh, I have a keyframe here. I have to delete that. Okay, now it starts out like that. And what we can also do is we can uh, duplicate this. Simple, simply press Control and drag to duplicate your layers. And I'm gonna select both of these, move it like this far, select the last one again, move it, uh, duplicate more, move it, duplicate and move it, something like that. And uh, from the, like when you look, it looks like it is a nice sort of like, I don't know, it looks pretty good. Uh, so pretty much you can play around with different sort of things that you find. Uh, for example, I'm gonna try um, I'm gonna try cyclode. Okay, let's see how everything looks. Wavy text or frame and the purse handle. So just like I said, you know, play around with uh, all of these that you find here. For example, um, I'm gonna find a place where our text stops. To wiggle and shake. Anyways, I'm going to show you. Basically, you can pretty much use text. Uh, and um, what you do again is go to like a circle, uh, decrease the like. Let's set it to five. Sweep nerves. Drag that in. Drag that in. 
and you can see that it's sort of like the right on effect which you can achieve in uh, after effects so this is pretty cool thing alright guys so this is it for a quick tutorial nothing really fancy here just a really basic thing and uh, yeah just you know experiment with different things and the cool thing about this is that that you can uh, rotate the and move around the original thing for example text right here I can move around I don't have to redo everything I can move around I can rotate it on the go so I can see how it looks in the end so yeah alright guys like I said I hope you enjoyed this video if you did please make sure you hit uh, so guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and please like this video. And I will see you guys on my next tutorial. Goodbye.